Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Scratch Learners. Today I am going to share you the project that landed me a software engineer internship position at Microsoft without any interview. So for all of you who are new to this channel, I am Swati Agarwal, a final year MCA student at NIT Suratkal and last summer I have completed my software engineer internship at Microsoft and this year I am going to join Microsoft as a full time employee. I got the internship at Microsoft through the Microsoft Engage Mentorship Program. It all started when I was in my second semester at NIT Suratkal. I heard about this program from my seniors and it was a great opportunity to work on a project with guidance from the Microsoft mentors and the best part is this can lead to an internship at Microsoft. So I applied for the program, I cleared the initial coding rounds and then we have to make a project. So there are three domains and we had to choose any one of them and make a project out of it in around 25 days. So I took on this opportunity and the domain which I chose in was the face recognition. So I had to build a project on face recognition system. This technology was new to me and I wanted to create something which is practical and impactful. So actually for this mentorship program, we had to submit a project presentation video. So I'll be sharing that video today. So let's dive into the project which I made and how it all happened. Let's start with the video presentation. So in the beginning, I gave a brief introduction about myself and the domain on which I built the project. And yeah, let's see the demo video. Hello Microsoft and the Ace Hacker team. I am Swati Agarwal and I am pursuing Masters of Computer Application from National Institute of Technology, Karnataka, Suratkal. I am a coding enthusiast and passionate about development skills. I am fortunate enough to be a part of this Microsoft Engage Mentorship Program 2022. In this last month, I have learned a lot of new technical skills and it also helped me to learn about software development. Now the next part was to give an overview of my project. So I started explaining the problem statement and how my project is solving the issue. Then I discussed my one month plan which I followed to make this project. So let's dive into the video. Talking about the last one month, in the first week I focused more on deciding what project I want to do. I analyzed all the problem statement and chose to go with the drowsiness detection system using face recognition. Then in the second week, I focused on deciding the text tags to be used and to learn about deep learning as the face recognition model will be using the concept of deep learning and I started implementing the model. In the end of the second week, my drowsiness detection model was ready and in the third week, I started designing the website. And the last week was about integrating all the codes of the website and the model. My mentor was really helpful and the ACE Hacker team resolved all of our doubts through the AMA sessions. The project I have made for this mentorship program is Sikshamitra, a drowsiness detection system using face recognition. A lot of people tend to feel sleepy or drowsy when they are working in front of their laptops. In fact, it happened with all of us sometimes that we tend to feel drowsy when we are studying or working on something. So I have made this project drowsiness detection system so that it helps the student to feel more active to get rid of the drowsiness. So now as the problem statement is clear, now let's get to the project demo. So in this demo, we had to explain everything that we worked on, all the features we have implemented. So let's see how I did it. Now let's go to the desktop for demonstration of my project. This is my project, Sikshamitra, a drowsiness detection system. Here you can see a slideshow in the front page. The first slide shows what we do, then the second slide is all about what we offer. While with some tips to avoid sleepiness, tiredness and some motivational quotes. Now it will boost your efficiency, it will keep you motivated and it will help you in achieving your goals. So these are the first three slides. Now let's go to the next page. So this is the window where the face will be detected and it will detect whether the user is drowsy or not. Once we click on this start button, it will enable the camera. And here we can see ourselves. Clicking on the start button, the monitoring will start and whenever the user is drowsy or his eyes are closed, then after some time it will alert the user.
like you can see now as you heard now there was a sound it was alerting the user that he is feeling drowsy if the camera is detecting only one of the eyes then it will not detect it as closed and it will not beep the alarm now if the user is seeing downwards that is he is typing something then also it will not detect the eye set as drowsy whenever user wants to stop this recognition he can press this stop button and now after this whenever he is feeling drowsy he can take a look on the tips to avoid the drowsiness here we can see the tips a small description about that tip and here is the link to that article so clicking on this link will take the user to that website or that article here by clicking on the next and the previous buttons we can fetch different tips for the users try these tips so that he does not feel drowsy or in this way it will help the user to stay active for a longer time now beneath this we have some motivational quotes for the users so whenever he is feeling drowsy or he is demotivated he can read these quotes on clicking on this new quote button it will load another quote clicking on this speech button the time to repair the roof is when the sun is shining and listen the quote the next button will copy the quote to the clipboard and the next button is for tweeting the quote so here you can tweet similarly we can generate a new quote and these are for the articles so So as you could see I gave a detailed demo for my project now the problem was being solved with just the face detection part but there were bonus points for extra features being implemented so I added a couple of them as you have just seen in the video now the next part is the test case coverage though we are going to join as interns the company expects us to build something according to the industry standards and uh, testing is a crucial part of this so i showcased some test cases to demonstrate that my model is working of course if this tab is not being accessed right now and we are in some other tab okay then also if the user is drowsy like currently i have closed my eyes then you can hear the same beeping alarm so if the user is accessing the other field also then also the system will work as long as the camera is being accessed so this was all about the demonstration of my project thank you so as you have seen i have covered scenarios such as how the model is responding when one eye is closed and when the user is looking downward while typing or when the user is active in another tab or using a different application so all these cases were covered and these test cases ensured that my model was thoroughly tested and reliable and that's about my project guys after building this project i submitted a detailed video explanation and the code files as the part of the mentorship program i was a bit nervous because i saw my peers building some incredible projects but after a month later i received an email from microsoft and to my absolute surprise they offered me a software engineer internship directly based on my project performance and the feedback from my mentor so it was a dream come true moment for me and that's how i landed an internship offer at microsoft uh, i hope you found this video helpful and inspiring so thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye